Okay guys, I'm having a, um, this looks to be 32 ounces, I'm not really sure. Um, it's a V8 beet uh, juice, it's really red and it's really delicious. It's ginger, lemon, and uh, beet, Italian parsley, cucumber, and it's really good. Okay guys, I'm eating an apple. It's weird how it's got like this discoloration in it. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I've never seen apple do that before, but it's still good. This is my Omod, what I eat in a day, and I've got two cups of chopped spinach. And I just put one half of an avocado in here, and I put three uh, little uh, red peppers in here, and we're going to add a tablespoon of vinegar, some pepper and onion powder. Okay guys, I'm just gonna put just a little bit of onion powder. Not much, just a little sprinkle. That was probably too much. And a splash of about a tablespoon. That was three teaspoons. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of garlic powder, not much. Just enough to kill some parasites within my colon. Okay, now we're gonna blend it up. Hey guys, I decided I'm gonna add three more to my dressing to give it some more uh, <laughs> need some water. Now that looks like a really good dressing. I'm gonna call this my um, celery. Mmm, it smells good too. I'm gonna call this celery sweet pepper um, I'm gonna call this one sweet pepper celery and avocado dressing. Gnats in my house. That's what happens when you like fruit. Mmm. It's really good. That's gonna be delicious all over my. Mmm. It's really good. I haven't made a dressing in a long time for my salad. I don't know why. I've been too lazy. Really. I guess I'm just tired of eating the same old thing. And I'm wanting to try something different instead of cooking. And I know I need to eat raw. And I know I need to eat some fat in my salad. So I think this is going to be good. Look at that. So I've got a cell. I've got some celery in here. I've got a half of an avocado. A bunch of chopped. Um, I could even throw some more raisins in there. Wouldn't that be good? Or some chopped dates. 
I don't know. That would be good. Or apple. I mean, you could do anything. Got some carrots in there. But I'm just going to eat it like this. Because I have like four... That's the crazy thing. Like this dressing, it looks like some really heavy, serious dressing, but all it is is celery and uh, sweet peppers. I put like five sweet peppers in there. And to sit and crunch and eat all that, that would be kind of crazy. And then I put my um, apple cider vinegar, which is gonna kind of give it some aid in my digestion tract. So, Let's try it. You could like put that on a sandwich, even, on a piece of bread. And that could be like some type of sandwich. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Mmm. Mmm. Guys. This is so good. It really is. It is so simple. Mm. That really hit the spot and I needed something different. It doesn't look really presentable, but it is delicious. Mm. Okay, I'll stop saying mmm, okay? You get it, right? I'm starving. <laughs> okay guys, I took two bites out of this bread. This is sourdough bread. So I'm going to just make a little nice pizza here. Doesn't that look great? Doesn't that look beautiful? It really is. I'm going to add a little flair to it, add some pepper. and. Some red pepper flakes to give it a little kick. Nothing too fancy. Okay, guys, wasn't that pretty? How's that for, for presentability? Let's try it. Okay guys, I'm doing something a little bit different tonight. I'm adding one teaspoon, or maybe it was more than that. Maybe I like more of a teaspoon and a half of maca powder to my oatmeal. Then I'm gonna add a whole tablespoon of blackstrap molasses and a little bit of soy milk. Okay guys, I added some blueberries and maca powder and about a tablespoon and a half of blackstrap molasses. And guys, this is gonna be good. There's no fat in here. I was thinking about putting some peanut butter, but you know what? I just don't want any. I just don't want any peanut butter. I don't need it. I had the avocado and I'm good to go. I'm going for some smooth move digestion. So 